guys, Em here. Welcome to my video. Today I'm going to be doing a reaction video for the artist Immortal Technique and it's his track called The Poverty of Philosophy. It was a request from one of my subscribers and I haven't seen it yet, so let's get into it. Most of my Latino and black people who are struggling to get food, clothes and shelter in the hood are so concerned with that, that philosophizing about freedom and socialist democracy is usually, unfortunately, beyond their rationale. They don't realize that America can't exist without separating them from their identity, because if we had some sense of who we really are, there's no way in hell we'd allow this country to push its genocidal consensus on our homelands. This ignorance exists, but it can be destroyed. Niggas talk about change and working within the system to achieve that. The problem with always being a conformist is that when you try to change the system from within, it's not you who changes the system, it's the system that will eventually change you. Yeah. There is usually nothing wrong with compromising a situation, but compromising yourself in a situation is another story completely. And I have seen this happen long enough in the few years that I've been alive to know that it's a serious problem. Latino America is a huge colony of countries whose presidents are cowards in the face of economic imperialism. You see, third world countries are rich places, abundant in resources, and many of these countries have the capacity to feed their starving people, and the children we always see digging for food and trash on commercials. But plutocracies, in other words, a government run by the rich, such as this one, and traditionally oppressive European states, force the third world into buying overpriced, unnecessary goods yeah. while exporting huge portions of their natural resources. I'm quite sure that people will look upon my attitude and sentiments and look for hypocrisy and hatred in my words. My revolution is born out of love for my people, not hatred for others. You see, most of Latinos are here because of the great inflation that was caused by American companies in Latin America. Aside from that, many are seeking a life away from the puppet democracies that were funded by the United States. Places like El Salvador, Guatemala, Peru, Colombia, Nicaragua, Ecuador, and the República Dominicana. And not just Spanish-speaking countries either, but Haiti and Jamaica as well. As different as we have been taught to look at each other by colonial society, we are in the same struggle. And until we realize that, we'll be fighting for scraps from the table of a system that has kept us subservient instead of being self-determined. And that's why we have no control over when the embargo will stop in Cuba or when the bombs will stop dropping in Vieques. But you see, here in America, the attitude that is fed to us is that outside of America, there live lesser people. Fuck them, let them fend for themselves. No, fuck you. They are you. No matter how much you want to dye your hair blonde and put fake eyes in or follow an anorexic standard of beauty, or no matter how many diamonds you buy from people who exploit your own brutally to get them, no matter what kind of car you drive or what kind of fancy clothes you put on, you will never be them. They're always going to look at you as nothing but a little monkey. I'd rather be proud of what I am rather than desperately try to be something I'm really not just to fit in. And whether we want to accept it or not, that's what this culture or lack of culture is feeding us. I want a better life oh. for my family and for my children, but it doesn't have to be at the expense of millions of lives in my homeland. We're given the idea that if we didn't have these people to exploit, that America wouldn't be rich enough to let us have these little petty material things in our lives and basic standards of living. No, that's wrong. It's the business giants and the government officials who make all the real money. We have whatever they kick down to us. My enemy is not the average white man. It's not the kid down the block or the kids I see on the street. My enemy is the white man I don't see. The people in the White House, the corporate monopoly owners, fake liberal yeah. politicians. Those are my enemies. The generals are the armies that are mostly conservative. Those are the real motherfuckers that I need to bring it to. Not the poor, broke, country-ass soldier that's too stupid to know shit about the way things are set up. In yeah. fact, I have more in common with most working and middle-class white people than I do with most rich black and Latino people. As much as racism bleeds America, we need to understand that classism is the real issue. 
Many of us are in the same boat, and it's sinking while these bougie motherfuckers ride on the luxury liner. And as long as we keep fighting over kicking people out of the little boat, we're all in. We're gonna miss an opportunity to gain a better standard of living as a whole. In other words, I don't want to escape the plantation. I wanna come back, free all my people, hang the motherfucker that kept me there, and burn the house to the goddamn ground. I wanna take over the encomienda and give it back to the people who work the land. You cannot change the past, but you can make the future. And anyone who tells you different is a fucking lethargic devil. I don't look at a few token Latinos and black people in the public eye as some type of achievement for my people as a whole. Most of those successful individuals are just sellouts and house negroes. But I don't consider brothers a sellout if they move out of the ghetto. Poverty has nothing to do with our people. It's not in our culture to be poor. That's only been the last 500 years of our history. Look at the last 2,000 years of our existence and what we brought to the world in terms of science, mathematics, agriculture, and forms of government. I've been awake all night watching the lives covering. Now listening to this. The Europeans who came to this country stole that idea from the Iroquois League. The idea of impeaching a ruler comes from an Aztec tradition. That's why Montezuma was stoned to death by his own people because he represented the agenda of white Spaniards once he was captured, not the Aztec people who would become Mexicans. So in conclusion, I'm not going to vote for anybody just because they black or Latino. They have to truly represent the community and represent what's good for all of us proletariats. Porque si no, entonces te mando pa'l carajo, cabrón, gusano, hijo de puta. Seramos libre pronto. ¡Viva la revolución! ¡Viva la revolución! Wow. I don't really know what to say about that one. That's just blowing me away a little bit, as it usually does. Um, I've been awake all night watching all the um, coverage of the, you know, obviously you know what I'm talking about, everybody. And to listen to that, it's, it's just a little bit kind of sad. I, I'm a bit, you know. But then again, like, I can't really comment because I'm not from America, so I'm from England. But, you know, watching back and then watching that is... It just does kind of make me rather sad. But anyhow, on a musical level, um, I'd probably give that an oh, well, 10. Definitely a 10. He has a way. He, he, oh, I just don't know what to say. He encaptures you, like I say, times and time again. Thank you so much for the person who recommended that to me. Um, I'll, I'll pop a link for the original in the description down below. So you can go and check the original out. Oh, God, I've had no sleep. So I'm on zero energy it's a big bag so um if there's anything else you want me to do pop it in my comment section and i will get round to reacting to it hope you've enjoyed the video and your reaction and um take care and hopefully you'll see me when in my next video take care bye